Welcome to the official Nginx tutorial series. In this video, we'll be covering key files, commands, and directories with Nginx. The instructions in this video assume that you have installed Nginx from our official repositories, following the instructions in one of our two previous tutorial videos. One is how to install Nginx on the Debian and Ubuntu operating systems, and the other is how to install Nginx on the CentOS and Red Hat operating systems. And I'm going to go straight to the terminal here. And the first command that's very useful is just the standard help command. In this case, it's nginx minus h. And that will give you all the options that you have with nginx. You can do an nginx minus v, and we covered this in our previous video on installing nginx. Uh, but nginx minus v is a good way just to verify that nginx is installed, and it also just prints out the, the version of nginx that you do have installed. Um, in this case, we're running version 1.13.7. You can do an nginx minus capital V, and that'll print out the version along with some additional information. Of relevance here, I think, is the OpenSSL version, which I'm highlighting here, is 1.0.2G. Um, it also prints out some configuration arguments or what options uh, were used when this build of nginx was compiled. Uh, which can come in handy um, if you're uh, seeking help or you just want to know what modules are compiled in with nginx. nginx minus capital V will give you all that information. You can do an nginx minus T and this command you'll actually have to run with root or sudo root access. So I'm going to go ahead and put sudo here and what nginx minus T does is it validates your nginx configuration so it, it uh, parses your configuration to make sure it's valid. You can do the same command with a minus capital T, um, and I'm going to do that again with a pipe more. And so it'll also print out your Nginx configuration. And so this is useful if you're, for example, seeking help, and someone asks for your Nginx configuration, you can just do an Nginx minus T, or minus capital T, and that will dump your configuration, and then you can go ahead and send it off to whoever is, uh, whoever you're seeking help from. Um, and I'm going to do the Nginx minus H again to see the command list. Um, the next command is the nginx minus s, which comes in very handy. And, um, it's also something you have to run with sudo. So and what's you know most common here is nginx minus s reload. And so whenever you make a change to your nginx configuration, in order for that configuration change to take effect, you actually have to do an nginx minus s reload, and in which case that, that configuration change will, will come into effect. There's also an nginx minus s stop, so you can go ahead and stop the nginx process, right? And then if I do a ps dash pipe rep nginx, I'll see that it's not running. Um, and to start it again, you ha actually have to do um, sudo etsy init.d slash nginx start. And that'll start your nginx process. Um, you can see it running there. Um, and we have one master process and one worker process. So those are all the key nginx commands. Um, on your system, if you go to the etsy nginx directory, and you do an ls here, this is where all the nginx configuration is stored. And there's two key components here. There's a few key components, but two main ones. One is the main nginx.conf, which is the main nginx configuration file. And you should not need to change this very often. Um, and we'll make one change in this video um, but other than that, it, you typically don't modify nginx.conf directly. What instead you're going to do is you're going to go into the conf.d folder. And this is where you're going to store your actual configuration. And you can see here there's the default.conf. The default.conf is the code, the nginx code, for that welcome to nginx page that you use to validate your nginx configuration. So I'm going to go back down and we're going to open up nginx.conf and of course you need root or sudo root access to make changes to nginx configuration. So I'm going to go ahead and, and sudo that. Uh, we're going to make one small change here and you can see that by default when nginx is installed, it's, it's installed with worker processes set to one. Uh, that means that nginx runs one, one worker process and we saw that in the, the output when you did a ps dash ef pipe grep nginx. We saw there's only one worker process running from nginx. A good rule of thumb is just to run one nginx worker process per CPU available on your system. And we actually have a shorthand for that, and you just change this to auto. 
and the special value of auto here will instruct the Nginx master process to start one worker process per available core on the system. So I'm going to go ahead and save that, and then I'm going to do a sudo nginx minus t, and that validates that the configuration is, is in fact valid. And so now we just do a, a sudo nginx minus s reload, and we do a ps ef pipe grep nginx again. And now we see that there are two worker processes. And I'm just going to open up the Nginx configuration file one, one more time. And just to show the include. Um, and right here, so you can see that within the main Nginx configuration, we're including the conf.d subfolder and every file with the star.conf in it. So that's uh, why we recommend that you use this directory. So what you're going to do is when you want to um, actually, you know, add in some Nginx configuration, you're going to create a file in this directory with a .conf um, extension, and then that file will be included by, by Nginx um, and, and configured and, and used. Um, you'll see in our next videos how you actually construct those files and what, what syntax you actually put in there. But just for now, we'll, we'll say that, that directory exists. Um, if you're familiar or have been using third-party builds, you're probably looking for that sites enabled or sites available directory. And so that's been replaced with this conf.d folder. So rather than searching around and, and you know, which directory to put my files in, we've consolidated down to just a single folder. So you put all of your configuration in the conf.d folder. Okay, and that concludes uh, this tutorial on Nginx key files, commands, and directories. For more tutorials, uh, check out our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash nginxinc. And we have a tutorial there on how to actually install nginx from our official repository. Um, and in the next video in our tutorial series, we'll go through how to use nginx to serve static files.